Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for The Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue 12. It's been a very long time since I've done an in-depth review for this, because uh, usually it's, exclu it's, it's exclusive for Comic Uno episode, and uh, it hasn't come out in a really long time, this issue. Uh, but before I start talking about Superior Foes, I want to give you guys a couple updates. First update is, of course, I have Comic Uno episode 51, and that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are those comics, these exclusive comics. We have Grim Fairy Tales issue 98 and Tiny Titans Return to the Treehouse issue 1 which will also have a kitty corner in-depth review uh, for, for uh, Comic Frontline. Um, also I do have some bad news. Uh, yeah, my grandmother passed away uh, this week so I won't have as many videos this weekend. Uh, there won't be any Comic Uno uh, Mayday's Journey this week. Probably skip that this week. Um, so, if you guys don't see me on the internet as much, or, you know, just not having videos as much, that's the reason. I am um, actually messaged a lot of people on, uh, you know, just made a status on Facebook and uh, Twitter, and thank you guys for supporting, um, being very supportive, and saying, oh, don't do videos this week, don't worry about it, you know, be with your family. Uh, for me, um, I just felt that keep myself busy, wanted to do the videos, so I did do these videos this week, and I, I definitely wanted to, so... Um, I did end up doing that. Um, I actually will probably be seeing Fault in Our Stars tomorrow and another movie, so I'll probably have a review for that. But other than that, that's probably the only reviews I'll have for this week. And then I'll be back Tuesday for the live show. That should be the time I'll be back on videos and everything should go back to normal. Uh, so thank you guys for being supportive uh, through this time and just wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, and I will be dedicating these um, set of videos to my grandma um, who passed away. So, let's talk about Superior Foes of Spider-Man issue 12. Um, yeah, this cover is okay. Uh, like, Shocker looks a little bit like a clown. It's a little weird, this cover. Um, psychedelic, definitely. Um, so yeah, it's a little weird. Doesn't really have anything to do with the story. Uh, this series has been really delayed for a while. Uh, I think the last time I read Superior Foes was in April. It's June now, and we haven't read an issue of Superior Foes, and those other issues were very fillerish. I um, heard a rumor that this series is ending. I'm not sure if it is. I don't remember if I saw that this series was ending. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing because I like the series. I hate that it's been going so much on the back burner. I know it still has the superior line there. Um, why not just change it up? Reboot the series because I really do like these characters and I think it is something unique um, if they progress the story a little bit more. But let's see if this issue progressed story um, or was it a filler issue. So let's talk about it. Um, with this issue, we get to see Boomerang. He is back on the team. We get to see him interact with his friends, his teammates. Uh, we get to see a little bit of Shocker with um, the Don Silvio head, with that story's been going on forever. Uh, and that's it. Uh, we get to see Boomerang has a bigger team for the Sinister 16 now. And he's working with Owls, so it's interesting. We, again, we just get to see the team back together. Um, something that we haven't seen in a while, especially since uh, Boomerang has betrayed his team. And I love that he tried to say, oh no, I was taken over by Sha um, Chameleon, I'm sorry, and no one actually believed him. Uh, his girlfriend left him in this issue. Uh, so it was a fun issue. I did like it. Um, I can't say, oh my god, this was worth the wait, because it wasn't. It was not failureish, but did nothing shocked me in this issue. Um, but I had a fun time with it. I laughed. There's some good jokes here. Um, I love the art style for the series. I think it fits so well. Um, so yeah, I had a fun time with the issue. I can't say it blew my mind. I'm going to give this three and a half stars. I liked it. Um, good art, and I hope it goes in a direction where it used to be. Like, the story progressed. It was a fun series. Because uh, I remember the series usually being on the top, and now it's just like, I think, forgotten by Marvel in a way. Uh, so I'm going to give it three and a half. I think it's worth picking up. Was it worth the wait? Probably not, but it is definitely worth the pick up. So I'm going to give that a three and a half. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.